So you bought an RTX 5060 and the performance isn't quite enough for you. Well, I mean, I kind of understand you, but thankfully in around 10 minutes of your time, we can overclock it to go probably 15 to 20% faster. So after being overclocked, it's not too bad. So welcome back at Emotion PSUs with yet another overclocking tutorial. Now, little disclaimer, important disclaimer. Very often, if you do undervolt, you're gonna get pretty much the same performance as with a max overclock, but also have your PC running quieter, cooler, and have a ton of other benefits. So I suggest you also check out my RTX 5060 undervolt tutorial and try out both presets. But with that said, if you want to just have maximum performance, here we are. Now, this is gonna work for every single GPU in the market, no matter the brand, no matter the model. It can be the cheapest, it can be the most expensive, it's gonna work the same. While undervolting works with the same results on every model, this is gonna vary different. So if you have a very good model, you're gonna get a very good overclock. If you have a terrible model, you're on average gonna get less gains due to power limit limitations and just temperature curve because the clocks are very much tied to temperature on this architecture. So with that said, let's go into Windows and let's start tuning. We're going to use two softwares, MSI Afterburner and Heaven Bench. are going to be both of them down below in the description. You can also use the beta version of Afterburner and you can also unlock memory clock to 3000 if you want. The only thing I ask you guys is at the end of the video, if the video is going to be helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to help support me. And with that said, let's go into Windows and let's start overclocking. And here we are in Windows ready to overclock. So first step is gonna be to open up Heaven Benchmark and make sure you run it with quality on Ultra, tessellation on Extreme, anti-aliasing on X8 and resolution on 2560 by 1440. Make sure you are unchecking the full screen option and hit run. Now, once it is running, you wanna hit the Windows key and pull up MSI Afterburner now I'm gonna first of all give you guys a preset which is gonna work for around 95% of cars and then tell you how you can test it out, make sure it's stable and dial it down for your specific cars. So here is the preset. So on core clock, 250 megahertz. On the memory clock, max it out. If you do have the 3000 megahertz mod, you can go 3000 all the time. It is always stable, it's crazy. And then if you do have a power limit slider, max it out. Power limit slider is going to dramatically increase your performance. So I hope you have it. I don't have it on this card, unfortunately. So you then want to hit apply. And uh, you now want to test this out in gaming. This is going to equate to around 3000 megahertz actual speed, which is where these cards are maxing out. Now, if you are very lucky, you can aim for 3100 megahertz. I haven't had so far a 5060 that is fully stable with anything more than 3000. Okay. I'm talking RTX stable in gaming with DLSS and ray tracing. So around 3000 is where it tops out at. Now, first of all, how do we save this if we found out this is stable? Well, we go to save, click on one, click on one, click apply, go into settings, start with windows, start minimize, hit apply, hit okay. And now this is running forever and ever with us. However, how do we test it out? Well, you can use benchmarks like Fourmark, but the best thing is to just go in gaming and see if it crashes, max out the details, play for a bit, see if it crashes in different gaming, see if it crashes in different games. If it doesn't crash, you can go higher by 50 megahertz and try 300. If 300 doesn't crash, you can go higher and try 350. Go by 50 at the time. Now, when it crashes, go back 75 megahertz, just to be sure it's never gonna crash again because we don't want it to crash when you're having an intense scenario. So for example, if 350 crashes on me, I'm gonna set 275 as my maximum overclock for this card. And again, hit apply, save everything and be happy. And guys, this video was very short because overclocking is extremely simple on these cards. It's just a matter of moving up the core slider, maxing out memory clock and maxing out power limit if you can, saving it up, testing it out, and you're gonna be very happy with a nice performance increase. And uh, with that said, Drop a comment down below, tell us what your final overclock is. Drop a like and subscribe and see you guys in another video. Bye bye.